I'm just one of 3,000 MTA employees who reported to Ground Zero and work there restoring service to millions of New York subway and bus riders. My personal story is not a remarkable one, but what we did together is remarkable. When the towers fell, police and train radio communications uh, along the number one train line in the immediate vicinity was lost. I was part of a team assigned to restore that capability. Like many of my fellow MTA employees, we drove past checkpoints manned by heavily armed police officers and military personnel to get to the still smoldering pile. We had respirators on, but you could still make out the acrid smell. Once I got to Ground Zero, I saw hundreds of transit workers engaged in cleanup and recovery efforts. A grappler and other heavy machinery bearing MTA locals were loading debris onto dump trucks. They were all MTA dump trucks, lined up along Church Street as far as my eyes could see. I had no idea how our guys managed to get so much equipment there so fast. Transit helmets and vests were everywhere. I'll never forget the scene in front of Century 21 department store, where dust-covered sofas were set, set up and people in medical scrubs sitting there, IV bags hanging on stands, waiting for victims to treat, victims that never came out of the wreckage. Down below at Chambers West Broadway, where our radio base station was located, it was total darkness except for the blue glow emanating from the LED displays and the turnstiles. There was dust everywhere, tracks were flooded, it was just surreal. Once at the radio base station, our test equipment told a very ugly story. We used a very accurate device called a time domain reflectometer. Basically, this thing lets you know exactly where something went wrong. And it was checking the condition of the radio base station that provides radio communications to that area for the police and train. I'll, I'll, excuse me. I'll never forget the eerie feeling I got when it indicated that the two inch diameter cable situated more than 30 feet below street level had gotten completely severed 2100 feet to the south, directly below where the towers had stood. In the ensuing hours, a remnant of this antenna would be connected to a special cell phone equipment in an attempt to communicate with survivors to no avail. My job was a tiny part of our efforts. I stand here today with so many other members of a top flight team. We got New York moving again, and we'd do it again if we had to, without a second thought for our safety or convenience. Thank you.